From Shelby County, let's go to Talladega County, where that county saw damage in every corner of its area. People there are working hard right now to get the damage cleaned up. ABC 3340's Byron Khalil is live in Talladega. Byron, fallen trees are still an issue for many neighborhoods. And that's something I've seen in several neighborhoods across the county. This by far, though, is the largest fallen tree I've seen. I'll step out of the frame for a second to give you a better look. Neighbors here say this is the reason why they are without power right now. Now, in some neighborhoods, the trees are not only blocking the road, but on top of power lines as well. That's the case for some living on Morning Glory Circle in Talladega. One homeowner says she was told from a power company they may spend the next few days in the dark. She's concerned about some of the households with children and the elderly. I really understand that they're under a lot of pressure and working hard and to be careful because it's dangerous out. And just don't forget us. We're out here in a little spot of Talladega, Alabama. It's very peaceful and quiet out here. Um, but there's a lot of humans out here that are in need that 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 need electricity to survive. And the Coosa Valley Electric Cooperative has dozens of crews working to restore power in the county, although they cannot give an estimate as to when power will return to any specific neighborhood. Live in Talladega County, Byron Khalil, ABC 3340 News.